Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it was sent to me by one of our admins who helped us with this translation. The translation reads like this, hello, how are you? Can you please post my own story if you can? Because I need people who are, who are from Zim, who are around Pretoria to assist me. So my name is truly not a real name. I am a 20 one year old and i have made a terrible mistake and i don't even know how to fix it hence i have said that if there are any people who are from zim who are around pretoria they can try to assist me especially those ones that go to the red garment church because some people have told me that this bottle that was given to me it needs to be thrown into the river like a holy river where they are mermaids they are the only ones that can accept the type of a bottle with the charms that are inside that bottle so what happened is that it was in july when i decided to go to see a red garment prophet he was a man who was a migrant he was from zim at that time i did not think much of it i just wanted a simple charm or some prayers something that would help me to attract one wealthy blesser because there was this other woman who stays at our house so she is renting there like she is always bringing in a lot of men she is also from zim and i then asked her why is it these men they are all taking care of her even they even though they know that she is dating a lot of guys that was when she told me that there is that type of a charm or, or some prayers that you can use that can make men to love you even though they know that you are dating a lot of guys so i was struggling financially and all that i wanted was someone who could support me buy me nice things and take care of me i did not want to hurt anyone i just wanted to improve my situation so the more that we spoke with that lady the more that i got confi the more that i spoke with that lady the more that i the more that i spoke with that lady the more that i convinced myself that this was the perfect charm that i needed she told me that we were supposed to go to visit this other woman but this woman she was from a white garment church unfortunately she then left and she went back to her country that was when i met a prophet who was also staying here in pretoria the man seemed like he knew exactly what i needed he gave me a small bottle of holy oil and prayer and he told me that we were supposed to finish some of these prayers at his friend's house there in Sosha. so i ended up going there it was over the weekend and when i went there that was when they said prayers on top of me and said that if i followed the instructions i would get what i wanted the prayer was not long and the instructions were quite simple i had to use the oil in the evening and to recite the prayers each and every night before i go to bed so i did not think there was any harm in it because i grew up in a pentecostal church and i know that prayer is good so since this was all about praying i never thought that it was going to turn against me within days i started attracting attention men like rich men when we will go out clubbing then rich men will be coming to me and they started showing interest in me out of nowhere at first it felt like the prayer it worked perfectly i got a blesser then another and soon after there were even more before i knew it i was now dating 15 blessers and they all want to be with me and they give me gifts money and attention so instead of feeling happy or satisfied i am feeling overwhelmed i cannot keep up with all of these men because they all want me at the same time in the afternoon i am with this blesser making love to him then in the evening another one wants to sleep with me i have no rest i didn't i don't know who to choose none of them seem to fulfill the empty feeling that i have inside it was not long before strange things started happening to me i stopped seeing my periods like last month which has never happened before then the dreams started horrible dreams where a large monitor lizard comes this monitor lizard it comes and it eats at my womb in the dreams i'll be paralyzed and i cannot do anything all that i can do is to watch it as it will be devouring me from the inside and when i wake up i'll be sweating like a lot each and every night and i am terrified 
of what this dream what it means to have a dream you see a monitor lizard that will be eating at your private part because this happens like whenever i go to bed two weeks ago and that was when I said, oh, let me return back to Sosha so that I can speak with those prophets. When I arrived there, that was when I found out that the prophet who had given me the charm, he had been arrested. He was traveling from Sosha going to Johannesburg and since he was undocumented, he was picked up at this other roadblock. So they told me that they don't know if he's still in prison or if he has been deported. And I am just asking the police to release him because I have no way of reaching him. I feel like I am stuck with this charm that I no longer want. I can't return the prayer or the oil because I don't know how. I once went to this other police station and I was asking for his name. It seems as if the name that he was using, it is very different from the one that he used when they arrested him. So they said that they did not they did not have such a man in their custody. The man who gave it to me, he is gone. I am appealing to the Zimbabwean community that are living in Pretoria to assist me so that I can throw away this little bottle of charms. Every day I feel like I am sinking deeper into something that I don't even understand and I do not have control over my life anymore. I can't be satisfied. Like when I finish to make love to a man, immediately I'll start to scroll on my phone even though I'll be still with that man in bed making another appointment to go and visit another man. I thought that this was a blessing, but now I can see that I am a cursed man. I have all these men that are around me, but none of them can make me happy. I feel as if I am trapped in a life that I never wanted. I can't even enjoy the money that they give to me because I am constantly haunted by the dreams and the feeling that something is deeply wrong with me. I regret ever going to Sosha to that prophet. I regret ever wanting a charm to manipulate people's lives. Now I don't know what to do. I feel like the charm has taken away over my life and I don't know how to stop it. I just want to return everything and to go back to the way that things were before. But I don't know how exactly. If there is anyone among us, the same community who can assist me, who knows how to throw away this charm it is a small bottle that he gave to me so inside there is something that looks like a thorn and a red bean that is in there so that is what i am using to attract rich blessers please assist me asap your dear listeners right there was a message that was sent to me by one of our admins who helped us with this translation indeed strange things they do happen in this world please let us try to speak with him in the comment section yo